hey there everyone welcome to another video of our kotlin series so in this video we're going to learn about functions how functions work in kotlin the basic syntax how we define it we also gonna code the functions right we'll be doing the practical examples so without much ado let's get started so this is how we define functions in kotlin so this is the basic syntax so there is this fun keyword this is the keyword that we use to define function right and then find parameter is the name of the function so after fun keyword after a space you define the name of the function whatever name you want to give to that function right then inside this brackets we have the arguments if you want to take any arguments you can define the arguments here and in case you do not want any arguments right then it can be left empty so for example i'm taking two arguments a and b and the type of those arguments is integer and if you want any another type for example you want the string type so after this colon you can define string right so then we have the return type after this colon after the bracket is closed and we have the colon and after a space we have the return type so for example in this case the return type is integer and inside this curly brackets we have the body of the function right so this is the basic syntax i guess this is pretty much simple you guys must have understood it if you are having a background of any coding language it's just uh, the things are shuffled a bit if i just take the example of java so for example we have uh, the return type before the name of the function here we have the return type at the end of the function otherwise uh, things are quite similar i guess right so now let us just learn by coding we'll just write a simple function and we'll see how things work right so okay guys i'll be using this uh, play.kotlin lang.org right we'll be using this website to learn this or if you do not want to download any ide right or any code editor you can simply just come to this website it's a great website so we'll gonna code here so let me just define a function for example find parameter in this case it doesn't take any arguments right it doesn't have a return type and here i will just define the variables from my side p is equal to 3 and we have the sum is equal to or let us just say we have the parameter is equal to zero right so let the parameter be 2 into a plus b and we're gonna print parameter so here we have defined the function right we, we are not taking any arguments yet and then what you are doing is there is no return type and then we have defined three variables we got the parameter and we have printed the parameter so now i'm just gonna call this function inside our main function right so let me just let me just run this code so you can see we got 10 so this has been successfully implemented now for example i want to take the arguments a the type of it will be integer and b the type will be integer as well so for example i do not want these variables i'll take it from the user the user will type 2 and 3 now let me run the code again we got 10 right now we got the arguments okay now i do not want to print it here i just want to return this parameter right so we'll define the return type the return type will be integer and we'll return the parameter right and let us declare parameter is equal to find parameter and let us pass 4 and 5 
now we got the perimeter that has been returned by this function into this variable and we're gonna print it here right let me just run the code so okay now we got 18 right so now this parameter has been returned by this function we have defined the type of the return another thing if you do not want to return anything for example in case of java we use void or instead of void what we use here is unit right for example print line and we have parameter here right the return type is none let me delete this and call this function so i have typed unit unit is equal to void right let me run the code 18 so either you can write unit after colon or you can just completely erase this this will also work it's up to you guys how you do it right so this is pretty much everything about functions in the kotlin i guess you guys have understood the concept of functions and now you can work with functions in kotlin so if you like the video make sure to drop that thumbs up button and if you're new to this channel make sure to hit that subscribe button and press the bell notification icon for receiving the notification of the upcoming videos so that is it for this video see you in another video bye